So good morning, everyone. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. Okay, am I audible? Okay, we'll discuss today what is computer forensics evidence. So already we have discussed what are the evidence in the previous class. Okay, one of the evidence we discussed about our hard drive, right, pen drive, all these things. Okay, so how we define evidence in terms of computer currency? So any information we have probability value is evidence. That means any data which is collected and from which you can prove something or prove about the crime. Whatever you collect from the crime place, those must have to be admittable in the court. Okay? Since we are discussing computer forensics, so computer and mobile device is main part, part of this. Okay? And all of us nowadays will use computers and mobile phone. Most of the people are using this. Obviously, when you do some crime, you will use one of the device. Maybe for some text message, for some video or some audio, whatever. But it's always, there's a chance the crime is related to the digital evidence, okay? Or you may send an email to somebody. Later on, you may delete. And in last classes we discussed, nothing can be deleted permanently. So if we collect your mobile phones or computers, you can easily retrieve your deleted messages, okay? Or you may store some contact details of somebody or some picture or some financial details, some video or some internet history. Internet history means you may have uh, search something in the Google related to the crime. Okay. So that can be one evidence or phone numbers. You must dial somebody before doing the crime. Okay. So, when we start investigation, we need to collect your phone and computer. Right. Everything is okay? Sound is clear? Still do not pass at all? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are discussing about the computer evidence. Any information? Uh -huh. Any information with a probabilistic value is evidence. Probabilistic value means what? Above We are suspecting. Okay. Evidence to low issues, a hit to a hobo, no, 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 no,
it may be or may not be but there's a sense that's why we are collecting those evidence okay so what are the uh, information can be in a evidence it may be email address it may be contact details picture financial details video or internet history and phone numbers all can be data of your evidence is it clear here yeah, evidence must be re relevant to a case in question and sufficient enough to put a point whatever you are collecting as a evidence that must be relevant to that case okay it must to be actively related with that case and there should be sufficient reason to put your point in the court okay next where we can find those evidence can you tell me whatever we talk about data email email messages phone numbers everything where will we get those things in the in this process kahan milega wo sab evidence want to say something tell me yeah continue so the demands and the bodies it may be in the hard drive okay or some other media like usb drive floppy drive zip drive optical media like cd dvd okay so we can get all these things in this media okay so when you we'll go when you we'll start the investigation we will obviously collect all these devices from the crime place okay and you may get those data in the ram also ram basically not used for storage purpose but some of the time you may get some of the information in the ram also so you need to collect all the storage device of the computers okay and one of the storage device is considered as mobile also so you need to collect a mobile phone from that crime place see what why you need to collect those ram in the ram it may be store user id password encryption key all these things may be in the ram also okay so that's why you need to collect the ram from the computers in terms of mobile phone ram is what sd card so you need to collect the sd card from your mobile phone. okay so where we can store those evidence it may be 
A lot of you know, know about the CD and DVD. Can you name full form of this CD? What is CD? Tell me what is CD? Don't know what is CD? Full form of CD? Sir, compact disc. Okay, DVD? Compact disc, sir. DVD, DVD. Digital versatile display, sir. Right. So, do CD or DVD may be a evidence, right? How it could be a evidence? Any idea? Santana? Santana is on team. Okay, anyone want to say how CD or DVD could be a evidence of crime? In many movies you have seen, I think, they are playing one DVD or CD, then everything would clear. Who did this, who did the murder, all these things, right? In many, many movies they are using, they are showing CD or DVD is a evidence, okay? You can record something and you can store it in CD or DVD and then you hide that CD or DVD from the crime place. So the investigator has tried to find out if there are any CD or DVD in the crime place. So if it is, they will collect us those CD or DVD. Next is hard drive. What is hard drive? Tell me anyone, what is the function of hard drive, how it could be a evidence. Hard drive. For hard kicks. Yeah, I'm waiting. What is hard drive? What is the function of hard drive in computer? So in the last practical we already discuss all these things, right? And we have shown to you how a hard drive looks like, how to attach the hard drive in the cabinet, how to remove a hard drive. Yes? So now tell me what is hard drive? A hard fix. I'm waiting for your response. Ah, tell me. Hard drive, data storage. Okay. What type of storage it is? Primary or secondary? Adil Hussain, tell me, hard drive is primary or secondary? Primary. primary. All of you agree with Sangeeta, hard drive is a primary device, 
primary memory of computer all of you agree or disagree disagree tell me then what type of device So one pause also writing primary. So one of you told me it's this agree. That means it is secondary, right? Is it a secondary device or primary device? Adil Hussain, you speak also on why not speaking? Tell me. Once upon it is a what to say primary storage or secondary storage depends. It depends. Okay. Anyone else? I'm my question is computer hard drive is a primary memory or primary device or secondary device. This is basic question, that's why I'm I'm asking it. Okay. So if you don't know, I will explain. Just tell me how many of you know about this. According to Songita and Subom, they are telling you what is a primary memory. And one of you just told me it depends. Okay. There is 13 people here. I may want to know all of you too. And Osman also writing primary. Santana also writing primary. So near this, can you explain why you are writing secondary? Everyone writing primary. So, okay. QTS data store is more data. Okay. Primary, maybe data store hota hai. Nahi hota hai kya? So, just say, <coughs> RAM hai kya bolte hai? Hum, uh, kya bolte hai? Jaysa hum calculate karte hai, to RAM use karte hai na. Gross okay. ka value hume store karna hai, to hume hard disk use karna pata hai. Okay. Okay. How many of you heard about volatile memory and non-volatile? These two terms, volatile and non-volatile. You may write in the chat box or you can speak volatile memory or non-volatile memory. How many of you heard about these two terms in terms of computer memory? I think you have learned uh, that subject fundamental of computers, right? Do first, I'm voting volatile and non volatile. This knowledge should be very, very important for you. That's why I'm asking this question. If you need to teach a class three, four student nowadays from class two or three, I think computer subject they have. And most, most probably you have also some kids in your home. You have to taught these things at the beginning. But if you taught wrongly, then see how they will think. Yes. Because their teacher will taught them something else, you will taught something else about this. So you should know as a master degree or as a bachelor, 
if you thought wrongly to them it's very bad for you you bad impression in front of that kids and later on no one will talk to you these things because they will think you know this basic things already but i come across here that term that's why i'm discussing here so maximum him of, of you are telling is the primary memory except sonia and sonia is the right person here his answer is right and now my next question is do you know how they both volatile memory and non-volatile memory and write yes no whatever in your sad box yes sir yes sir those who are writing yes you have to explain only three answers yet. I'm waiting 13 answers. Then you will get attendance. Otherwise, no. Combination of yes, no should be 13. Since there's the 13 people here. Only three I got. That means Rest 10 is inactive mode, mode, right? If you are active, write something in the chat box or you can speak. Santana, you are writing here. Volatile memories retain its data when power is clear. Lost data when power. Now your previous answer was primary memory. Now compare hard drive. Is it related to you this answer? And now tell me secondary is uh, hard drive is secondary or primary. Hard drive is volatile or non volatile memory? Non volatile, then how it can be primary? Sure, of the non volatile memory. So, how it can be primary then? His previous answer is now contradiction. Still, I'm not getting 30 answer, okay? 5, 6, 7, I think. Those who are writing here, then they will only get attendance. I'll calculate attendance from this only, okay? Okay. You have missed volatile, right? Hmm? SSD non volatile, like the hard drive. Okay, come to the point. So, hard drive is a secondary device and the RAM is a primary device. Why? And if I talk about hard drive in terms of volatile and non volatile, hard drive is a non volatile. So, in non volatile, what's happened? Any data stored in a non volatile memory that is permanent. Okay. If your power is off, also, still you will give good for this data when you again switch on your device. Okay. But in case of volatile memory, that is one example is RAM. Once you switch of your computers whatever stored in the ram will lost you will not get those data again until you not saved ok 
ओके तो इफ यू सेव एनी डाटा देन इट विल गो टू द हार्ड ड्राइव एंड इट विल बी स्टोर्ड परमानेंटली ओके someone writing rom is a non volatile is it right or wrong what is rom and what is dam any idea So hope this concept is clear. Uh, uh, yeah, some want to say something? Yeah, tell me. Someone want to say something? Tell me. okay hope it's clear volatile means once you switch up data will be lost non-volatile means even you switch up still you will get the data so one example of volatile number is ram and one example of non-volatile is hard drive so hard drive can be a evidence because the criminal can store data on the hard drive later on he may be deleted still will get the data so hard drive is a evidence so next evidence can be usb drive yes usb drive means power pen drive Do you know full form of USB? How many, how many of you know about the full form of USB? You may write in the sub box. USB drive, USB. We are basically talking about the pen drive. All of you are using pen drive. So you should know the full form of USB. Yeah, Kunal, tell me. Universal serial bus, right? Serial bus. Universal serial bus. Yeah, this is the full form of USB. So USB drive can be a evidence, obviously. Since we can store data in the USB drive or USB device, obviously it can be a evidence next memory card memory card oh, yes, hello any problem <clears throat> okay memory card memory card means we are talking about your mobile phone memory card okay at the memory card also is a storage device so we'll definitely we will know the memory card the sd cards okay so that can be a evidence next is text messages during during the crime you may send somebody a text message from your mobile, mobile to somebody else so that can be a evidence phone records okay phone records can be a evidence whatever you talking in your, from your phone that can be recorded by the service provider so when that case will be in the hand of police they can find out your recording you get all the data what to talk with others okay next is email address so email address email sent to somebody is one of the evidence then digital image that means photograph 
you capturing something and sending to somebody or you capturing something and delete from your mobile phone or computer that can also be a evidence in some others application recording applications <coughs> website browse history browse history that means whatever you type in the google or whatever uh, type in the browser of your computers and that the most of you type full form of usb just now i know most of you don't know earlier but when you type usb full form of usb usb stand for they you got the answer so if i investigate how more how many of you already know and how many of you got to know from the google now itself so i can find out okay that means that browser history is one of the evidence to find out the crime right yes or no how many of you type in the google just now usb stand for or usb full form Adil, you know earlier or just type in the Google? Shorab is typing no. You already know that means. Okay. Adil, Hussein. Sonia, you know already, or you type in the Google? Sir, I didn't know. Oh, okay, you are typing. I just the... saw the yeah. Okay, you said. Okay, good. So whoever type in the Google, I'm, I can easily find out. Okay, that's why I'm giving one example. That means browser history is one of the images. If you are telling lie also, if I capture your mobile or laptops, whatever you are using now, I can easily find out who have a type in the Google. Okay, I'll show in the practical how how we can find out who whatever you did in the last month. From the last month or from the last year in your computers or laptop or whatever in the practical class i'll show you okay whatever you type in the google whatever you access in your computers or mobile phone using internet you can easily find out okay so that's why these are the <coughs> evidence is it clear Okay, this um, these are all USB drive, CD ROM, text message, message, whatever. These all are TV. So now answer tell me this answer. Which of the following can be used to store evidence? Which one? The option which one? Memory card. Which one? Some is telling a memory card. Anyone want to answer? Memory card. Okay. Next question. Data that is not found on the disk can be found in computer memory or RAM, yes or no, false or true. Number five question, what should be the answer? This type of question, this time is very, very important because 
exam may be again objective type. Yes, the exam may be again online. Maybe not sure. So data that is not found on the disks can be found in the computer's main memory or RAM. Tell me the answer. True or false? B. False. False. Mm -hmm. <coughs> You said true, okay? Suppose you are writing something, but you did not store, and that will be remain in the RAM. Though from the RAM we cannot find out, but there are some tools. Using those tools, you can find out whatever stored on the ram okay whatever you have right right on the ram you can find out okay so it is true again not false evidence must be relevant to the case in question and that's enough to prove a point which one a b c d which one So for your attendance, please send a message in the WhatsApp with date and enrollment ID. So which one is the answer here? A, B, C, D. A, right. A, right. The sufficient point. Okay, it should be sufficient enough to prove the point. So oh, that's all today. So what you learn today, what is computer evidence? Where you can store or where you can get those evidence? Okay, these are the devices or these are the, the techniques where you can get the evidence. Okay. So you basically don't know the basic things, hard drive, what is hard drive, RAM, ROM. So please go through all these things. This is very, very important. If somebody asks sometime, if you don't know, it is same on for you all, okay? Okay, thank you for today.